Hi, and welcome to Craft Artist. This quick start tutorial will take you on a tour of the program and show you some useful tools and features. When you open Craft Artist, you're greeted with the Startup Wizard. From here, you can choose a template, start from a blank project, or work from a make and do project. You can also download new content, open existing projects, or access tutorials, forums, and galleries. Let's create a project from a template. These are projects that are pre-designed, ready for you to customise. From here, you can choose from a number of different templates. Today, I'll choose a scrap page template. Select a design to work with, and click OK. Let's introduce the workspace. This is your page. On the left are the content tabs. At the top is the standard menu, standard toolbar, and the context toolbar. This will change depending on the item or tool you've selected. On the right are the studio tabs. And at the bottom is the hint line and various page and zoom tools. You can use your own photos in your projects. Click the Photos tab on the left and then click Add. Browse to your photos, select the ones you want and click Open. Your photos are now displayed in the tab. To add a photo to the frame, drag it from the tab and drop it onto the frame. As you can see, the photo is cropped to fit inside the frame. You can move the photo to better position it using this button. You can select any items you don't want and press the delete key to remove them from the page. Text can be added using the text tool. Just click where you want the text to start and type. All of the text can be selected by pressing the control key and A at the same time. I'll format it using the context toolbar and change the colour using the swatches on the colour tab. Alternatively, I could use the colour wheel. Finally, I'll move it into place using the move button. If you'd like to, we can always change the background to something else. In the backgrounds tab, Select a thumbnail and drag and drop it onto the page. I prefer the other background so I can undo the changes by clicking the undo button. At the moment, there's only one page in this project. To add more pages, open the pages tab at the bottom. From here, you can insert, delete, and even copy pages. You can add a new page by clicking here. Just choose a new page and click OK. As you can see, the page is added to the project. You can now customise it as before. To save your project, click Save. Once you've finished your project, why not share it on Daisy Trail, Serif's online crafting community? Click the Share icon on the standard toolbar. If you need to create a new account, just click Join Now and follow the steps. Otherwise, log in and then click Upload. You can click View to see your finished project on Daisy Trail. We hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. Check out our other videos on YouTube.